Today we'll be going over the new SHX text feature. So you're obviously all used to the standard built into the operating system fonts, like this one. And that's fine, but it's designed specifically to be displayed on a screen or printed on a page, and isn't really designed with laser or CNC type use in mind. For one, all fonts like this have to be a completely closed shape now there are some like there's the cam bam style uh, single line fonts which can kind of approximate this but in reality it'll often be overlapping lines so that the overall shape is still closed which is great if you want to have filled text we won't deny that however with a laser a single line font can often be much more efficient for your workflow so to be able to use those you go to settings file settings and now under font settings, we have a new set SHX font path button. Now, one thing to note, we don't ship with SHX fonts installed. You'll have to get them yourself, but that's easy enough. Just search for free SHX fonts online and you'll find hundreds of them freely available. So I'm gonna click on this button and then go to the SHX fonts folder that I already created earlier. Now you won't see any of the actual font files in here. That's just because we're in a directory selection mode. I'm gonna click select folder and then click okay. And now immediately I will have SHX fonts available to use. And as you can see, the system fonts have this TT icon next to them and SHX has the SHX option next to it. And as you can see, this is a single line SHX font. So instead of a closed loop path, like the T for example here, is simply two lines. It's gonna be much faster if you don't actually need the thickness of the text to do a quick line engraving with a laser. One thing to note with the SHX fonts, so all of the names here are just the file name of the .shx files that will be on your computer. The reason for this is because, and here's a perfect example, the tooltip showing here, translated April 13th, 1998. That is the name field in the file, and it's not always really used correctly in a lot of these older files. Some of them have been around for quite a long time. So instead we show the file name and not that, though you can see it in the tooltip as shown here. But this also means that you can then find the actual file that represents that font easily on your computer later. So SHX also has some other things, like there's fonts like this, which, as you can see, it's actually got a pre-done fill pattern. Now, as opposed to the standard fill in Lightburn, where you typically try to have very close lines and completely fill that, this is just a back and forth pattern with a decent spacing between them, which may be all you need. Now, that can be replicated with the normal fill modes in Lightburn, but this is pre-done for you, and it generally looks pretty good in our experience with the ones that we found. There's even sort of more regular fonts like this, which are not filled, and even some fonts like these, where as you can see, it's actually multiple lines overlapping. So SHX, because it doesn't have that restriction of having to be a closed shape, is much more open to doing interesting font designs. And as I noted before, having single line fonts like this even the ones that were partially filled, like what I showed before, can actually be much quicker to engrave, which I can show you in a demo right now. This first example is a standard built-in system font. As you can see, it's fully closed shapes. This is happening in real time, and it requires just over 21 seconds to complete the burn. This next example, however, is a basic single line style SHX font with the same exact total bounding area as the first example, yet it requires only 13 seconds to finish the burn. This last example is just showing off an SHX font that has a pre-made fill pattern, although at three times normal speed. And as you can see, even though it's not completely filled like you would with a normal light burn fill pattern, it still does give a much darker effect to the text overall. That's all for now. We hope you enjoy the new SHX fonts feature.